Hey guys, my name's CJ. This is Jumpstart Hobbies, and today I'm going to use this Rust Oleum 2X painting primer to paint this Space Marine. I created a chart for all of the Warhammer and Age of Sigmar factions with primary base colors. Using this chart, I'll be testing an ultramarine scheme using high gloss McCall Blue. This saves us a step in the process by priming and base coating at the same time. Once we've primed the mini, we'll go to the airbrush booth for the next step. After priming with McCall Blue, I'll now apply the primary color using Vallejo's Magic Blue. I apply a few drops of Vallejo's Flow Improver to thin the mixture for better spraying and to stop the paint from drying too quickly. Then I add the Magic Blue and mix it with an old brush. I use what's known as a backflow technique by covering the tip and applying air pressure. You will see the paint cup bubbling when doing this. This mixes the paint that's unable to be reached with the mixing brush. Once everything is mixed, I do a test spray to check my consistency. When I see that it's good, I spray the primary color with a top-down 45 degree spray. After my primary color is applied, I empty the airbrush and add Vallejo's Electric Blue to the paint cup. This will be the highlight color and I spray it in select areas of the model. Vertical angles of the backpack, shoulder, and head followed by accents on the knee, legs, and feet. Pro tip, these armor colors can also be achieved with dry brushing if you don't have an airbrush. With all the major armor colors finished, I move to step number two, detail base coats. I paint the pouches with Vallejo Leather Brown. shoulder trim and chest with Pro Acryl Rich Gold. Joints and gun with Vallejo Dark Gray. And finally the grenades and other metal details with Pro Acryl Silver. Once those are painted, I move to step three, washes. I use Citadel's Agrax Earthshade on the gold and leather pieces, thickly applying on each piece before following up by spreading any pooled wash from the surface. Then I use Army Painter Dark Tone on all the silver pieces following the previous process. This finishes the speed painting steps. The only other steps needed are basing materials, painting the base rim, and applying varnish to the model. The Space Marine I'm working on was painted over so it has basing materials on it, but the quick and easy way to do this is to coat the top of the base in PVA glue and add a layer of rocky dirt terrain mix. Then after using some Daler Rowney black ink on the base rim, this Marine is tabletop ready. If you wanted to take this model to the next level, you could do things like painting the eyes, edge highlighting, panel lining, decals, battle damage, freehand, or complex basing. Each of these tasks will increase the time spent on the model as well as the overall appearance. You be the judge of what you require for your models. I was able to do this model to this standard in about 20 minutes, but painting in batches would be even faster. So if you're looking for a fun way to paint your next army, maybe give Rust-Oleum a try. Color chart in the description below. Like, comment, subscribe, click this video, and until next time, we'll see y'all later.